Let's keep it going. Uh, these are wagers that Bear is making. We're doing this in studio, and I see him make wagers all the time. So, uh, kind of a, a unique part of our show is Bear is actually wagering on these ones here. Let's get to the first one. It is the Cincinnati Bengals at the Tennessee Titans. Tennessee Titans are getting the two and a half points. Your total is 41. The Bengals won the first game of the season. I'm on a football against the Rams. We saw that win. Well, the Titans uh, dropped uh, to the Browns. They've had some so kind of like bad game, good game, bad game. Who do you got here, Bear? I think Monday night's win was more about an indictment on the Rams than it was on the Bengals. Like, I'm going to take the Titans plus the points here at home. I, 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 Burrow is not healthy. It's clear that he's fighting through something. Their offense has not been as high octane down the field as it has in the past. Higgins just dropped balls. Chase finally had a big game. But I, th I think that offensive line's got problems. It's just a... It's a matter of time before I think Burrow really re-injures that, that calf even more. I hope he doesn't, but against that defense, uh, Vrabel's team coming off of a, an absolutely atrocious, ugly performance uh, in Cleveland last week. So, look, and they've looked out, they look terrible against the Saints. The Chargers, the only team they actually look yeah. competent against. So, I'm gonna I'm gonna take the Titans plus two and a half in a very Mike Vrabel type of game. And that's it right there, right? It's a Mike Vrabel type of game. You have a, a quarterback everyone likes in Joe Burrow, and people saw the end result of them being the Rams. He's back. He's back. The Bengals are back. And everyone's going to be on them after that win. They see Tennessee get their butts kicked by the Browns. Everyone's off Tennessee. But Vrabel is so good in this position. I do not know why coaches like him and like Mike Tomlin, like if they're underdogs, you almost just like auto bet them, right? Like they, whatever they, however they motivate their team. But the reason why is they play good defense, right? They play good defense. How would, like Sunday night game, Steelers went, Steelers close. I didn't, I, we talked about this all. I didn't get it. You got three points in the row. I, I didn't, it made no sense to me. So I like your pick here with the Titans. I'll probably be riding with you in my contest picks later this week. Let, let's get to your second game here. The Patriots are at the Cowboys. The Patriots are getting six and a half points. That means Dallas fair by six and a half. The total is 43. You're going a little bit different direction than the side of total. Or what do you Yeah, like, I don't trust the cat laying six and a half with the Cowboys here. Dak was a problem behind that offensive line that was missing a, a bunch of guys in Arizona, a terrible loss. Yeah. And I would think after allowing 400 yards to the Cardinals in, in that game, you know, lose is a big favorite. Didn't get a turnover in that game against Josh Dobbs in the Arizona offense. You would think that the, the Cowboys defense would take it upon themselves yeah. here, even without Diggs, to kind of shut this Patriots offense down. That look, 15 points against the Jets, uh, two, 280-something yards against the Dolphins. Like, this unit is lacking, I think, a playmaker. Um, I think they're kind of predictable. And, and I, I would think they'd be able to shut Mac Jones and this team. But, but again, this could very easily be like a 23-17 type game. So I feel more confident about either – Patriots team total under, which is my top yeah. play, or the under in the game yeah. than I would with laying points here with Dallas. It is a great opportunity for the Cowboys defense to redeem themselves right now. What are they without Diggs? I don't know, but not in this game. It only Diggs matters very much and not having him in there, right? So. Like the, the Patriots offense is struggling to do much of anything. They can't generate explosive plays. Um, it, by the way, is Mac Jones the dirtiest player we don't talk about? Like, he continues to have these moments when he's he's hitting people in the groin. Chris Paul, the he, NFL. Yeah, the, the Grayson Allen of, 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 of the Grayson Allen of, uh, of the NFL. Let's get to your third game here. Uh, it is the Rams at the Colts. At the time of recording, the Colts are getting a single point here. They're plus one, and the total is 43 and a half. Who do you got here, Bear? Yeah, this number is depending on where you go. You, there's, a, there's a there's a Colts one available right now with at DraftKings. There are pickems out there, so like always as as a better, look for the best number because it does it does matter, especially yeah. in a in a situation like this with getting a point as opposed to pick is yeah is a big deal. But I, the total, by the way, is forty five and a half, not forty three and a half. If that matters to some, but that, that's a big total, right? No, it, it does seem like a high total. I just don't like the situation for the Rams. You played Monday in Cincinnati, go back back to Los Angeles, and now you got to fly back to Indianapolis, west to east. Yeah, kind of a short week, and the Rams just didn't. It was just a weird game on Monday night. They're not very good right now. No, no, I, and, and, just, I, and I think the performance are. against the 49ers probably got them a little more hyped than they probably deserved. The win in Week One against Seattle it was great, but. Nakua was a non-factor yeah. in, in that game on Monday. 
The offensive line did not look good. And I think we've seen from the Colts now that they are going to they are going to be up tempo. They're going to score points. They're going to put their quarterback in a position to succeed, whether it's Richardson, whether it's Minshew. Bear Bets full episodes drop twice a week right here on the Bear Bets YouTube channel. Remember to subscribe to stay ahead of the odds and let's celebrate all of our wins together.